How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, guys, we've got some Pokemon rumors to take a look at, and let's get started. First things first is from Soul Silver, who says, For everybody thinking this is payday and or Meowth, it's July 1st. If I'm not mistaken, every single one of the firsts of the month, Koo posts his riddles for the theme of that month. July's theme is confirmed to be characters. So this is 99% a new character, not a new Pokemon or form. Now, who is Soul Silver here? Well, he is a leak analyst. And who is Zodiac Cooler or Riddler Koo over there? Well, he is a Riddler who gives up Pokemon leaks and legitimate information, but he does it in little mysteries and riddles. And he recently said PDY and then said, if I add vowel vowels, you would know what I mean. But it, it wait, but I won't, lol. And then people are thinking maybe it's Payday, PDY, and then, you know, Andor Meowth. But the thing is, this month's theme is specifically characters. So nobody, I don't think anybody's been able to break this one down. And some people are saying, if you want to search for new Pokemon, though, we'll st uh, we still have an, an idea about uh, at least three of Ku's previous new Pokemon riddles, and more theories are welcome. And people have been just trying to get it together. Like people say, like take check, take you know, take a look at maybe like the names of other characters within PLA and stuff like that. You know, things along those lines, more or less. Uh, but I don't think anybody's been genuinely able to actually put this one together. Just just yet so that's that next up is this right here so interesting development it's been brought to my attention by the hybrid hero uh, that this random 4chan image we disregarded due to dunsparce could be a leak i'm still not solid as him but the potential is there here's a video for the explanation now what are we talking about well basically uh, there was this image that was posted uh, for Scarlet and Violet that featured all the Pokemon you see over here, sort of. Now, this image initially on, uh, I think, 4chan was disregarded because Dunsparce was in there and people assumed, Hey, Dunsparce never going to get evil. But we do know that Dunsparce is going to be getting some kind of evolution thanks to Riddler Koo. He told us something like that's going to be happening. Now, if he ends up being wrong, well, his credibility is going to go straight down. But he did tell us a Dunsparce is coming. And remember, Riddler Koo has been correct for Legends Arceus, BDSP leaks, in the past, so he's legitimately gotten information. But this one features, I guess, uh, Arbok, Tentacool, Tentacruel, uh, Krabby, and whatnot. We got Wooper, and then a new Evo of Quagsire. We have Dunsparce, a new Evo for Dunsparce. Then we have um, Clay Doll and whatnot. We have Love Disc. We have Bagon plus new Evo, which is interesting. Uh, then we've got Pat Rats and its Evo over there. We've got the Crocodile line or whatever, and Ponyard and Bisharp as well at the bottom, apparently getting, you know, forms. And then we go down here. There's pros and cons and more cons. It seems credible due to the Dunsparce Evo and Wooper line original form and Evo. The last pr uh, pro is that Poison Ground for the Wooper line makes sense with what we found when it comes to the real world potential inspiration for Wooper line, um, you know, for regional form, the Iberian Ribbed Newt, which is this thing right here. Uh, uh, these things are apparently, as far as I'm aware, uh, they're endemic to the Iberian Peninsula. So the Iberian Rib Newt has a turb, uh, turb tuberless running down each side. Through these, its sharp ribs it can, it can puncture. The ribs act as a defense mechanism, causing little harm to the newt. The miss mechanism could be considered as primitive and rudimentary system of uh, envenomation. So basically, it's got a little bit of poison, I'm guessing, in there. Um, cons, any leak could have a Dunsparce Evo, and, but also, neither of them acts uh, exactly line up with what we've discovered. Dunsparce won't get in regional form, as we uh, know, proper cross-gen Evo, and I believe Wooper will get a regional form and a new split evolution, like Hisu and Sneeze or Sneasler. And on top of that, I'm fully confident that Tauros will get a regional form. Now, this may not be a complete list of all the regional forms in Scarlet and Violet, but it's a pretty big number already, so it seems unlikely they missed two more. There's also a sus moment of steel and water types. And lastly, would Game Freak really make a brand new crocodile line, aka starter, uh, starters with Fue Coco, and as well as make an already, already existing crocodile line a water counterpart to it? I believe if it was a regular Pokemon, but because it's a starter, it gives me pause. The interesting thing is there's a possibility th these aren't all RFs, as we know uh, know them, but maybe instead uh, some are regional fakes, or whatever the reworked Mega ID might be. So it's still exciting to think about, but I'll leave it up to you to decide if it's real or not. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think the ones in here could be legitimate? Again, the Dunsparce thing, as well as the, you know, Quagsire thingy over here, are the only ones that are kind of making this feel more legitimate, but nothing is really coming out of this. We know that Quagsire, or at least Wooper, is going to be getting some sort of new evolution evolutionary uh, form or like a new form and evil, uh, brand new evil. So it's not going to be Quagsire, it's going to be a brand new Pokemon, which leads us into this image right here. So somebody put this together, uh, this, this image, I guess, and try to claim this as a legitimate leak, showing off the thingy on the top there being the brand new evil that uh, the, you know, I guess, uh, Scarlet Violet Wooper form would actually have. Now, I'm going to be honest, 
this one is pretty fake. Uh, the reason I feel like it's fake, it's too clean, okay? It's too clean and crisp. If you look at most of the legitimate actual concept arts, I think most of them had like specifically like pointed out, like, you know, you, if you look at those, they're not as like, you know, clean. This is, feels too clean because what these are meant to be is concept art. It's meant to be a concept to show the Pokemon different forms, different shapes, but not 100%, you know, one-to-one, -one. like, it's not supposed to be 100% perfect, it's supposed to be a little bit rudimentary, if that makes any sense, and in this case, this is too clean, but also, as pointed out here, a clever attempt, a whooper and quags, 99% won't be regional fakes, so this is, uh, totally a fake for me, I mean, uh, on top of these concept art leaks having a 1% chance of ever being real, this is just a mix of some of Ku's riddle solutions, but the mixing isn't correct, so, uh, yeah, also, uh, Poki Sutami even did a video on this, breaking it down fully, what the Japanese and all that says, but, uh, more for, for Par for course, this one most likely isn't real. So just keep that in mind. We're moving on to the next thing, though, which is interesting. This comes from Kilios, who said the following. I had questions about the next trailer for Scarlet and Violet. If we stick to the same communications as Sword and Shield, the next trailer should arrive, uh, you know, probably, like, I guess next week, right? So this is from uh, Kilios. Kilios is a website owner uh, who runs a official Pokemon website. Oh, not official. Inofficial Pokemon website um, for the French scene, specifically, which is uh, Poke Kalos. He runs that. And he basically tweeted out, like, uh, that, you know, if you look at the past, um, you know, when Sword and Shield came out, you guys can see right underneath here that uh, Sword and Shield's trailers dropped on, you know, the third trailer dropped on the 8th of July. So probably next week we could be most likely expecting something to happen around the 6th or the 7th, possibly even the 8th, to be honest. If we go back to, like, uh, like 2019. I'm gonna go all the way back to 2019 right now to just double check on 2019, uh, you know, July, when specifically we saw, like, when, what day that was. So, July 2019, um, on the 8th was a Monday, by the way. Wow, okay, so they dropped a trailer on a Monday, which means they can drop things anytime, okay? Anytime they can drop stuff. Um, and there is actually a greater post about this, which we're gonna go into, which is a bit more, like, in-depth from Ami, uh, because Ami went in and actually, like, uh, kind of more or less put together a, a pretty great way to look at all this. So we're going to see if we can find us. Here it is. These pictures are from Sword and Shield, but the third trailer uh, for Sword, Skull and Violet is definitely just around the corner. The first Wednesday or second Monday, which means July 6th or July 11th. We'll see. So what are we talking about here? Well, let's take a look at it. So if you guys look right here, this was Pokemon Day, aka the 27th of February. This was the reveal of Pokemon Sword and Shield. The next one came on June 5th. Remember, we got our, our second Scarlet and Violet trailer on the 1st of June. The one in Sword and Shield's uh, time, the second trailer, came on June 5th. So, a little bit of a later time frame, right? But then, this, the third trailer came on the second Monday of July, which in this case was July 8th. 8th, so that was literally like what, a month or so, slightly over a month, maybe two days, three days over a month later that it dropped, give or take, so two, three days uh, extra on top of an overall month, so pretty much this week, next week, we're getting news, we're 100% getting news, it just follows with the, 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 the standard they seem to be going with here, now, what kind of news it's gonna be, well, we're gonna have to wait and see about that though, it is quite a bit of a debate on that, I do think Lim Lumios here did say something very interesting, which is, I don't know about you all, but I'm ready for the Glimwood Tangle live stream, which if you guys don't know what that was for sword, uh, Scar sword and shield they basically did a 24 hour live stream where they revealed a pokemon in that case it was a galarian ponita and also in legends rcs last year they did a zora found footage video where basically they had like zora more or less just walking or actually it was like kind of found footage and it was blurred and then a day later they revealed what the you know found footage was about which in that case was them revealing zoroark and zorua as brand new you know regional forms for pokemon legends Arceus. And usually in like September, October. But man, that was Pokemon marketing at its peak, in my opinion. But again, anything is possible. They can still do that early. Doesn't mean they have to wait, you know, all the way to then, even though that most likely is the case. But, you know, we, we expect to see something very soon, nonetheless. Moving on to this, though, which is quite interesting. This is coming to us from, again, Soul Silver says, Well, I don't agree with uh, this theory at all. This could be the meaning of the P part. Uh, the key, these would then all be the same way to portray a collecting quest in, po in a Pokemon game. So, what are we talking about? Well, basically, this image right down here, um, this image in the background, the gold image, basically was saying something along the lines of, like, you know, the key. These are Cell 108 Gen 6, and Puppy will receive her punishment in the next teaser and whatnot. And then we had this recent one with the little Shiba dog down at the bottom, 
which uh, said Centro, and it was Slices. Now, what we're trying to assume here is that we're going to be looking for some kind of coin Pokemon, and once we can collect enough of that coin Pokemon, we're going to be able to put it together and create a brand new Pokemon, like a chest of gold or like a Mimic, so to say. This is very similar to how you had to collect, if you guys remember, how you had to collect multiple Meltans uh, back in Pokemon like Legends, uh, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, as well as in Pokemon Go, to get a Mel Metal. It's the same principle. You basically collect a bunch of the same Pokemon to create a brand new one. I mean, literally Mel Metal and Meltan are that exact concept. And guess what? Another Pokemon that does that is Zygarde. You get the Zygarde cells, put them together to get Zygarde 50%, 100%, whatever, right? That's basically what the whole premise is. And even Unknown, even Unknown works in a similar way. Minus, you don't really get a brand new Pokemon, but it's the idea of collecting a different Pokemon to create a new Pokemon or to complete a, a thingy, right? He says, here's my full breakdown on the previous treasure chest riddle, worth the read for those still guessing. And basically, this is again about this whole concept, which is that the key 108, that's referring to, I think, um, Spirit Tomb. Cell is referring to, well, Zygarde Cells. Gen 6, uh, that one is a bit more iffy for me. Uh, maybe just that that's one of the keys that, you know, you have like Clef key or something. I don't know. Uh, and then P, well, that could be really mean anything. Uh, but yeah, you guys might remember how this all worked. So basically, the background is telling us this about the object Pokemon from, uh, you know, the first trailer, I guess. Key is cell equals collecting Zygarde cores. Maybe we'll have to collect multiple ones like Meltan to evolve it. Key number eight, 108, which is Spirit Tomb, a double meaning. It's a ghost type, and we use the same collecting method to get it in PLA. And then, uh, key number, uh, number like, I guess, the other one, Gen 6, is that Aegislash is one of the few object Pokemon in Gen 6. It's also a Ghost Steel type, a very possible typing for this brand new Pokemon. So we might be getting a coin that's a Ghost Steel type. And then the P part, this coin object Pokemon is golden like P, I think. Which is really weird way of him, like, uh, really cool putting it together. But it is what it is, though. Let's move on to the next you know, I guess, post here, which is this one right here from Ami at Japan, who says, we did it, coming on July 6th, replying, uh, specifically quoting a tweet here from Necro Felipe. Now, Necro Felipe is a Nintendo indie journalist who basically just tweeted out saying the following, which is, do you think we'll have new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer in July? Absolutely, yes. Well, again, you know, I can't, I don't really know if you can, like, you know, take what he says 100%, because I feel like he said some stuff in the past, and then it didn't turn out to be, like, the case. So just keep that in mind. Anything is possible. There's no guarantee on, on any of this, right? Just just trying to point that out. But let's continue on to the next thing, which is this right here. Now, this is the image you might have been wanting, you know, waiting for me to talk about if you saw the thumbnail of this video, because I'll be including it. But I found this regional Tauros on Reddit. I think it's sort of background in the second trailer. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, really great looking Tauros, by the way. Looks really sick. Looks fucking awesome. I think it looks great. It's fake, though. The uh, reason I say it's fake is because if you just look at the background, um, why is the background blurry? while the Pokemon looks clear as all day. Unless this is being viewed within some sort of, like, you know, thingy in the game where you can basically, like, you know... Like, there are moments where, like, you know, you'll have, like, a camera focus on a single object and the background becomes blurry in games. Like, for example, in you, if you're in a menu, in, in, like, an open world game, sometimes, like, the background will just become blurry and the menu will be in the middle or something. That's possible, but this just looks too off, man. The Pokemon itself looks great, but the problem is... I, I've seen people make these fakes. I've seen how they are made, and I know that they're not, you know, that, I mean, they're difficult to make in terms of, you know, you need the skill to do it, but it's not that difficult in practice to fake, right? Faking it is not that difficult. If you know the know-how of how to do the modeling, how to implement it, stuff like that, you can easily do it. So I'm going to be honest, it looks sick. It looks bloody amazing, and it's perfect for a thumbnail. God damn it, I love YouTube. But the problem is, it's not real. It, it, it can't be real. It, again, the background we've already seen before, it doesn't match up. It's just kind of, hey, let's put a 3D model with a PNG from the trailer of just random, like, you know, just a random background. It just doesn't match up. Like, no matter what way you look at it, it, it just, it doesn't fit. Again, it, technically, you could say it does fit, but at the end of the day, I think it is personally fake. Again, that's just my thoughts and opinions. Your opinions will be appreciated, but uh, I don't know if this specific image is real. If it is, holy moly, dude, I would be so happy that I, that I, that I was wrong because I think it's a cool design, but... Nothing here tells me this is real, unless somehow somebody got their hands on it, and for some, whatever reason, the background is blurry because maybe you're inspecting the Pokemon or something, or you're very close to it that the background becomes blurry because you're focused on the Pokemon. I don't really know. Next is this from Ami at Japan, which says, Why did Ku set this tweet as sensitive? I think it's a bit strange. The picture's related to the waifu Pokemon. So basically, Ridley Ku said, Nice and F, and then it was a hidden picture. And if you open it, it's just, uh, I think, Fantina, and then it's like, you know, I guess... That he, like, unboxed her or whatever. Um, which I don't really know what the deal is there. But it's just, I guess, Fantino, whatever. And, again, 
Nothing too crazy about that. I don't really see what the thing is because we know that this month, July, is supposed to be all about. And I think this was tweeted today. I could be wrong, though. I do think this was tweeted today. So, yeah, but it should have been tweeted today, which if it's, it was tweeted today, then today is the beginning of, like I said, the new month of, of rid riddles and hints. Maybe this is supposed to be a hint at us getting a brand new ghost type gym leader. Possibly that could be the case. Again, you don't never really know with Ku. Like, you never really know because he could be trying to do anything. Or this could just be him playing the game and just sharing it with us, which which always is a possibility. So what do you guys think? But either way, next is this post right here. So apparently Eclipse, who is also a Riddler, by the way, but he's a bit more 50-50. I love Eclipse, but I don't really know. With Eclipse, you can't always trust everything he says. Sometimes he's correct, sometimes he's incorrect. But apparently, somebody's asking, Osmio says, what about Scarlet and Violet? It's upcoming days. And says, oh my, thank you, Eclipse. Basically, uh, that we're going to be getting news soon, which isn't really anything crazy. I mean, to be honest with you guys, anybody can say that. I can say that too. Hey guys, we're going to be getting news soon. Ooh. You know, it's nothing crazy right there. Unless you give an exact date. If he gave an exact date and said, hey, it's happening on the 7th of July or the 8th of July, then fair enough. Otherwise, it's not really doing much for me. Either way, for the most part, I think we've gone through everything. Uh, and even here, Ami actually confirms with this one. This Japanese doesn't make sense. It's 100% fake. Um, yeah, I think I did my best to look up Japanese, but lol. Uh, but I don't know, man. Like, the whole staging I drew this flawlessly setting with the uh, photogenic picture is an auto fake for me. Which, yeah, it's true. It looks too good. That's the th That's the problem. It looks too good. It looks way too good, my guy. It looks way too good. It's too, too, too perfect. If it was more shitty, I'd believe it. But it's too perfect. It's too, too, you know what I mean? I, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. It's a bad, bad, bad fake leaker. Bad. Mm. Bad. Don't do that. You got to make it look shittier. Got to make it more blurry. You know what I mean? Got to make it look like, like it was actually made by Game Freak. You get what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much going to be it. Also, by the way, I need to point out, the tail on that thing over there doesn't look realistic at all to me. The tail on the evolution looks just just doesn't fit at all. with the, Like, I don't know. This tail feels off. Just going to say that real quick. But ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.